all of these cells in the middle are the brood. Then we have an insulating involucrum around the outside of the brood. Here we have stored food, honey and pollen. We've cut through these honey pots, that's why they've been opened up and we can see this honey pooling here. The bees will repair that damage very quickly. Over here we can see the internal entrance tube. Here's the entrance hole, but the bees continue that hole inside as a tube. We can see it very clearly there. That helps them to defend the hive. They can post guards along that entrance tube. Anything trying to get in the hive has to run the gauntlet of all the guard bees along there. I can count multiple layers there. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 visible layers there. That's much more than you normally see. You can also see here how the brood is arranged in a beautiful spiral pattern. That's typical for the most common species that we see in southeast Queensland and northern New South Wales. Tetragonula carbonaria. We can see open cells around the outside here. These are the cells that have just recently been built. The next step is the bees will provision those with food and the queen will lay an egg in them. The closed cells, the remainder of the closed cells that we can see here have already been stocked with food, an egg's been laid in them, and the cells have been sealed over, where, and the larvae will develop inside those cells. You can also see here a lot of stored food. Pollen, and also honey. A lot of honey here, a lot of pollen there. Multiple layers of comb down here. A spiral pattern. Yeah. Um, there's queen cells here. One, two, three. Always on the outside of the cone. Larger. of other interesting features to note here. If you look around the outside of the box, there's a space. This is the bee's ring road. It's how they get from A to B inside the hive, in this case inside the honey super. They've really packed this area here full of food to the point where they can hardly pass through it. But they can move around by moving in this space around the outside. Thank you.